This is a short demonstration of using the distance map generator inside Unity. The first thing you need to do is to grab it. You can get it from this website, you can download it here for free. Now I've got it. I'm also going to grab this image as a nice example. Here's a new Unity project. I'm going to import the distance map generator package Import everything. Now I have a distance map generator folder. Inside of it, I have a class with the algorithm and an editor window script. Also, I have the GPL license and a README file. Great. I'm also going to get that image I just grabbed. Here we go. Now with the image selected, I'm going to open the distance map generator window. Here we are with the image selected. Now if I hit generate, it will complain that the source texture is not read write enabled. So I have to change the texture type to advanced so I can check this thing. This will make it readable. It will also make it consume more memory in your application, so make sure to disable it after you no longer need it. I'm also going to change the format to alpha 8. It's important to not feed any compressed images to the distance map generator because that's going to screw up the distance map. If I hit generate, you'll get an alpha map. This preview image shows the alpha channel, so black corresponds to an alpha of 0 and 1 corresponds to an alpha of 1. Now, the edge of the original image will correspond with an alpha value of 0 0.5. The further you go outside of the object, the darker it gets. In this case, at a distance of 3 pixels, the alpha channel is fully 0. And and an inside distance of 3 pixels, it's fully white. So if I change outside distance, for instance, to something like 50 and generate again, you'll see that it takes a lot longer to, read max, to reach maximum distance. I can then do the same thing with inside. And then it will look like this. So how large this transition zone needs to be depends on what you're going to do with the distance map. Now if I set the inside distance to zero, the edge of the object will be completely white and it will then drop off to black at outside distance. In this case, an alpha value of 0 0.5 does not correspond with the edge. You can do the opposite as well, in which case the edge will be black and it will get brighter the further you go inside the image. Typically you want the edge to be 0 0.5 and have some space dedicated to going outside and inside, something like this. Now when you're happy, oh wait, you can also post-process. Post-processing does some fancy calculations on pixels close to the edge to make sure they are more exact. This might improve the quality of your distance map a little, usually it doesn't really make a difference. Typical distance you use is 3 pixels away from the edge, any further than that and it will actually start degrading your quality. Now we do this, you basically don't see a difference, but sometimes if you got some complicated edges it might make things look better. Might also make it look worse, you just have to try it out. So when you're happy, export PNG file. By default it goes to the same directory as the source image, which is fine. Here we go, it appends distance map by default. Texture type set to advanced, alpha 8, apply, 
and here's your distance map. Now usually the only thing you really want is the alpha channel but you can choose what to put in the RGB channels over here. You can either set it to black, set it to white, set it to distance which is basically a grayscale version of the alpha channel or set it to a copy of the source image. That's it! You're now ready to make your own distance maps. Have fun!